Minecraft 1.21, the Tricky Trials update is just around the corner. At the time of recording this, there isn't an exact release date yet, but it is coming very soon, which is exciting. Now there's tons of amazing features being added to the game in this update, which means you have plenty to do. Here are roughly 50 things to get you started. Of course, one of the main features of this update are the trial chambers, so I'm sure you want to tackle that at some point. First of all, you're going to have to find it though. You could search around underground hoping to stumble across it, or you could buy a trial chamber map from a cartographer that will lead you straight there. Now there is loads of loot you can find in the trial chamber, so just have a good rummage and see what you can grab, either out of barrels, chests or spawners once you've killed all of the mobs. There are a few specific valuables that are worth going after though. One of them being the two new armor trims that you can use to give your armor a bit of an update. You can also look out for the flow and guster banner patterns and make some cool designs with them. The main item, however, that you'll be looking to get is the trial key that will pop out of a spawner around 50% of the time, or rarely you might find it in a chest. But that can be used to unlock the vault, which contains all of the good stuff. The bonus with the trial chamber is that they can be replayed. The spawners have a cooldown of 30 minutes, so once that passes, you're good to go again. Something else you might want to do with this trial chamber is transform it into a base of some kind, or even just tear it to shreds, harvesting the new copper blocks to take home, or even any of the new tough variants, which is essentially all that makes up these chambers. You might also want to make a small expansion to your storage room for all of these new blocks and the rest of the items in this update. Kind of something that's got to be done every year. Of course, you're probably going to want to build with these new copper and tough blocks, but if you're not up for anything too big just yet, I'd recommend for one, giving your lighting a bit of an update and replacing some of your current lighting blocks with the new copper bulb. The new tough blocks are so beautiful and work wonderfully with other stone blocks currently in the game, so you could go around to some of your stone builds and incorporate some tough into them too. We're heading back to the trial chambers again, as there's a lot more still to do in there. You can actually tackle a much harder version of the trial chamber called the Ominous Trial. Essentially, you need to have the Bad Omen or Trial Omen effect to start this version. The Bad Omen effect is gained from killing a raid captain, as we all know, and the Trial Omen effect can be obtained from drinking an ominous bottle. How to get the ominous bottle, you ask? Well, it can be gained from killing a raid captain, or they can be found in the vaults. So you might actually be able to get one of these during your first raid of the trial chamber. If you drink and gain the effect, then step near a spawner, it will turn into an ominous trial spawner, which basically makes it harder, but also gives better loot. You then might get lucky and the spawner will give you an ominous vault key, which then can be used to unlock the ominous vault. It's exactly the same as a normal trial chamber, just more, well, ominous. One of the items that can drop from an ominous vault is the heavy core. First of all, you could use it as a nice little decorative block to spice up your home, or you could use it to craft the mace. But for that, you're gonna have to take down the new breeze mob and collect its breeze rod. Combining these two will give you a very cool new weapon to add to your arsenal. Now, before we talk about what you can do with the mace, let's see what else you can do with the breeze rods. You can turn one breeze rod into four wind charges. You could even make a breeze farm to collect a lot of them if you enjoy using them. Not that I know how to make one, but I'm sure someone else does on YouTube. Now these little things are what the breeze shoots at you when fighting them. You can use them to launch yourself into the air and hop from one place to another, reach somewhere that's too tall to get to otherwise, use them as an MLG water bucket replacement, maybe even build a parkour course with them to jump around on. Could be fun. You can also use the wind charges in conjunction with the mace. Diving up in the air and landing a mace hit on a target will deal increased damage. It's pretty satisfying, I can't lie. Something else you might want to experiment with is seeing just how much damage you can deal to some of the strongest mobs in the game. It did recently get nerfed, but it's still kind of crazy just how powerful it is. There are three new enchantments added to the game that are all specific to the mace, so slap these on to make it even better. There is another mob added to the game alongside the breeze, and that is the Bogged. 
They are found in the trial chambers as well as in the swamps. Essentially they're a skeleton variant in the same way that the stray is and they shoot poison arrows at you so they can be pretty dangerous. As for what to do with them, I'm sure you could farm them somehow if you wanted to get a huge supply of poison arrows for some reason and if so what are you planning? Or you could grab some shears and give them a haircut by lopping those mushrooms right off their head. One other huge addition coming to 1.21 is the crafter. This is a big one for all the redstoners out there. They're very excited about it for some reason. Personally, I will be using it as a pretty cool decorative block in my builds. Just kidding. Well, I'm not. I will definitely be using it decoratively, but I would also like to figure out how to actually use it, which I'm guessing you might have to unless you're a redstone expert. Once you've figured out some of its quirks, you could always try and incorporate it into some of your current farms. For example, I'll be trying to set something up with my gold farm so it can automatically turn all of my nuggets into ingots and then into blocks, which will save me a lot of crafting time. Just a couple of final things to mention of what to do in the new update. There are four new potion effects that you might want to experiment with, all of them relating to what happens to your body post-mortem. Whether slime spawn in your absence, cobwebs get sprayed around, you burst with wind, that one's pretty realistic, or silverfish stop infesting you and become released. As you can imagine, they might give a bit of a surprise to an unsuspecting player, so be sure to show them off to your friends. There's a few art-related things being added to the game, like three new music discs that you can go out in search of and find to add to your collection as well as 20 new paintings which are insanely cool. I will definitely be going around my world and updating a few of my paintings so I don't have as many repeats. I might even build an art museum of sorts, showing them all off in their glory, so that's something you could do too. There are also some new pottery shards to find if you like decorated pots, and as always with any Minecraft update, there's new advancements to try your hand at. So technically that covers just about all of the main additions in 1.21, but I have got some bonus things to do covering all things dogs and armadillos. I say bonus because they are actually a feature of 1.20.5, which I think confused a lot of people, myself included. I thought they were also a part of the Tricky Trials update until recently, so I'm guessing some other people might be in the same boat. Or you're just waiting for 1.21 before updating your world, so it'll be as though they're part of the new update too. That's my plan anyway. Of course, one of the first things you want to do is go in search for every new wolf variants and give them a bone to tame them. Then you could bring them back home and build them their very own mansion filled with all sorts of fun canine activities. Or maybe you just want to add a small kennel alongside your base that they can sleep in. You could even build themed kennels for each specific dog and the biome that they're found in. If you're not keen on building anything for them just yet, maybe you could take them all out on an adventure together. Just be sure to bring lots of food to top up their health. Better yet, you could set them up with some dog armor first. As for how to craft it, well now this is where the armadillo comes in. These little guys drop a scute every now and again, similar to how a chicken lays an egg, or you can grab a brush and get them manually that way. With just six scutes, you can craft some dog armor and even dye it too. You can find the armadillos in a savanna or badlands biome, and if you've got two spider eyes, you can breed them and make a baby armadillo, which is super adorable. Then you can even start an armadillo family and build them their very own enclosure, even set up something to automatically collect the scutes and turn it into a farm as well. But I think that just about covers everything in the 1.21 update, as well as a couple of extra in the 1.20.5. Now you should have plenty to do when we get our hands on the Tricky Trials update. I am super excited. Thank everybody so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye for now.